Yeah, El Marinci here. Uh, time and date there is probably noted. Out front, uh, where the pond developed, they just came out, which was actually running out to uh, do a couple of errands. And I had about, uh, right where I'm standing, a solid uh, 12 inches of uh, water, a full pond. So I really didn't uh, sit here and document it. I actually had to get to work, but it was all covered with ice like this. I've already been working on, I've been buying salt. I've already used, uh, oh, I got received uh, almost 500 pounds of salt that I bought uh, calcium mixes to try to cut my trench through here so I can get this to flow. I met with the state out here last year before they paved the time. The state told me he didn't know if they were going to grind or if they were going to pave right over it. As you can see right here, this transition is so bad between the state road and me. And this ain't actually me. me. I mean, my land's like back here. I'm back here. So that's them. So I guess it's okay to have that, but I can't drive the... I can't drive my motor coach, or I almost rolled my motor coach pulling into this driveway too fast one day, and I'm not kidding you. I had the damn thing up on two wheels. I emptied out because it's the rock. It's not so much the first, it's not the first one, it's the second one that just about rolls you over. So, all along I've had to battle this mess by keeping all this open to down back so I can get most of the water. Now, by doing this, it's all going that way. I can show you the, I can show you the river down there below the uh, camper. Hits a snow pile down there. So thank goodness, I cut that. I've cut, oh man, 90% of it away by doing what I did this year. I used to not really keep this open. I just stopped right here, right? Right at the pole I stopped. But I always had this area right here cleaned out just so that we would have a place to safely pull in and out of the driveway because this road's fuck is horrible, man. So, this issue, guy says to me, this is the head guy from the uh, over in Durham where the, our uh, state road, like the city of Dover ain't got nothing to do with this. I could bitch about this with them. Uh, they did cut this up to do something, and how's how he left it, like a piece of shit. Um, but, he told me, he understood the issue, and he said, either way, because what happened was, back in the day, old Ray next door filled in a natural drain swirl that was always here. Made himself a nice flat yard out here, put all his irrigation all in. Right there, all went along. That's the only hydrant on this road that's been clear since day one. At one time, on the whole city, on the, I went up and down the whole Dover Point Road. This was the only hydrant exposed. <laughs> and I got trails to the neighbors and shit. Yeah, I take safety, seriously. I worked in the fire, safety, fire alarm, sprinkler, down in Boston for 20 years. Life safety's been a big thing. But... You can see what I had to do here now. It's all flowing, right? So now what I have to do, I shoveled all this because I got to give it a place to flow. We had this little snow last night. My little trench that I had going got filled in. State doesn't know enough to what the fuck to do. Now this guy's all iced up here, right? So now he'll fill up in here to about... I'm not bullshitting you. I could put the laser on it, but he'll be at the road elevation with water. If we don't get this busted open, and fucking let it get going down there. And during the course of the heavy winter, you can see, I came down here with him and I snow blown back to here all winter. So I know I could actually expose a lot of that drainage because the real, the real drainage wheel is back here. But the travesty of the whole thing is this. When the big dog from the state comes down and he sends a grader over, he says, I'm going to take a big cut out of here. 
He says, it's going to solve this whole thing. And I said, that sounds good. And he does. Comes down here from my driveway, down here past the hydrant. The line's almost like right here. Well, actually, it is right here where this pick is right now. Takes this nice, huge cut right out of this whole front yard and shit. And gives me a nice drainage swell. It's awesome. It was beautiful. And then, you know, they pave. They were doing all this shit. And this other crew comes by. And they're like the crew that comes by after they pave. And they uh, uh, tidy everything up. Yeah, well, they, they came by and they filled the whole effing thing in. The guy, the cut the guy made for me, they filled all back in. Oh, made it look just beautiful. I called them. Fucking tried to be nice. Nobody ever came to take care of it. I wasn't going to dig it out. So here we are again. We're just another... It's 2000 and freaking... 15 February or March. A week before, I'm 53. And I'm going out in the house now to run a cord out here to get an effing jackhammer to punch a trench through there so I don't have to be the guy with freaking two feet of water at the end of his driveway. Okay? So I'm pissed, you know? Because if I did this down at my job, I'd be freaking fired, okay? Somebody's gotta fucking be responsible for something.